okay guys this is a grade 8 lesson and this is the first lesson of grade 8 so let's see what is it importance of microorganism this is our first lesson in grade 8 The unicellular or multicellular organisms which cannot be observed clearly by naked eye are called microorganisms. We need to memorize this definition because there will be a question on our term test. Microorganisms are found in every habitat on the earth. They live in thriving all environments such as atmosphere, water, soil. Some examples for such environments are Glaciers, volcanoes, spurs, hot water springs. There are five main types of microorganisms. They are bacteria, fungi, protozoa, algae, and virus. Some examples of bacteria are lactobacillus and acetobacter. Some ex ex examples of fungi are yeast and mucus. Some examples of pro protozoa, amoeba, paramecium, euglena. Some examples for algae, alva, chlamydomonas, and diatoms. And some examples of viruses are HIV, coronavirus, influenza. The Dutch scientist, Dutch means a country, Dutch scientist Antony van Leeuwenhoek observed the microorganisms for the first time in 1674. Exploration of microorganisms was pos possible with further developments in microscope. When we get this sentence, we can consider that Antony van Leeuwenhoek is the first man that made a microscope because we can't see microorganisms through our naked eye we need a microscope to see microorganisms Okay, let's talk about benefits of microorganisms or beneficial effects of microorganisms. Can change the genes of food and can produce new foods. An example for this statement is golden rice enriched with vitamin A. Nitrogen fixation. This process occurs in plants, producing antibiotics. We can produce antibiotics by using microorganisms. Some examples, penicillin, amoxicillin, erythromycin, glycophulvin, producing vaccines. Can produce bread and bakery products. We can produce bakery products too. We can use yeast microorganisms for that process can produce dairy products moisture and temperature are the essential factors that need for microorganisms to live food spoil at room temperature and if we decrease the environmental temperature we can retard the growth of microorganisms we can keep foods inside of refrigerators and then we can control the temperature or retard the growth of microorganisms in foods. And the room temperature of our environment is 
ट्वेंटी फाइव सेल्सियस टू थर्टी सेल्सियस द इंसाइम्स प्रोड्यूस बाय दिस माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिजम्स चेंज द टेस्ट ऑर्डर कलर टेक्सचर एंड द न्यूट्रिशनल वैल्यू ऑफ द फूड माइक्रोबियल एक्टिविटीज डिपेंड ऑन द टाइप ऑफ फूड फर्मेंटेशन माइक्रोबियल एक्टिविटी ऑन कार्बोहाइड्रेट प्यूट्रिफेक्शन माइक्रोबियल एक्टिविटी ऑन प्रोटीन रेंसिडिटी माइक्रोबियल एक्टिविटी ऑन लिपिड्स एंड फैट Okay, let's talk about harmful effects of microorganisms. Microbial activity causes food spoilage. Microorganisms cause various infectious diseases for man, animals and crops. Infectious cause for man: virus, common cold, HIV and influenza, bacteria, tuberculosis, leprosy, typhoid fever. इन सिंगल लेप्रसी प्रोटसोव मलेरिया पीष्मानियासिस एमीबायसिस फंगाई पिटीरियासिस सो इन्फेक्शस कोर्स मै एनिमल रेबी फूड एंड मउथ डिशीस मैस्टी इन सिंगल रेबी को जल भीति का Infectious cause for plants: blade blight, mosaic disease, leaf curl disease. Okay, guys, this is the end of this video. Thanks for watching and if you like this video put a like and if you need something to clarify leave a comment and don't forget to subscribe so bye bye hope to upload more videos bye bye